Viper, standby hack. Ready, ready, hack. Ladies and gentlemen, on your left, it's Captain Waters with the S16 Body Crockett. The F-16 demo team is important because it allows us to go out there and interact with the community. It allows the community to get up close and personal to their Air Force and their Department of Defense and to see the people that are defending their nation um, and the freedoms that we love. I am the commander and demonstration pilot, but I have a team of nine enlisted maintainers and public affairs that travel with me across the United States and Canada for 20 to 22 air shows annually. Our mission on the F-16 Viper Demo team is to inspire the next generation of pilots and maintainers and airmen and really anyone to serve their country either through the military or some kind of government service. We go out there and again, we're showcasing capabilities of a fourth generation modern fighter and what it's able to do. But with that, showing that in order to get that one airplane airborne and myself to fly the demonstration, it really takes a whole team. In the 70s, the Air Force was under the procurement process of new fighter aircraft. F-16 is kind of the brainchild to uh, bring on a uh, lightweight day air-to-air -air fighter and it has grown throughout the years because it's proven through reliability and capability that it is a formidable challenge to our enemies and a tremendous asset to our Air Force. When I fly the demonstration, it's not necessarily combat maneuvers what we do, but it shows the agility and the maneuverability of the F-16. So when we go to combat, that aircraft can perform. I think we help out in recruiting for the Air Force because when we go to these air shows, I think we're a big ticket item for the recruiters to say, hey, look, uh, there are Air Force comrades and they're flying and uh, maintaining uh, these amazing jets. And hopefully it allows the recruiters there to say, hey, you can go be a part of that Air Force team, whether it be to be a pilot, a maintainer, public affairs, security forces, or the fire department, all those working together in order to make that mission happened.